Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to say hello to someone real quick, but I'm back. So real quick, I'm just going to go through the remainder of season one and what I thought of it. And if anything comes to mind later, I'll just say it. Eugene's bike was charming. I didn't care for it too much. I mean, Eugene's just a loser kid. I mean, I did take a unique direction. I thought they were going to have the bike get stolen, but it was more about sometimes we know how to do more harm than good, which I thought was more refreshing than just a bully story. And, you know, it was a nice lesson for Arnold to learn, but I don't know, for some reason nothing in that episode did it for me. I enjoyed the little pink book more for, again, it was another great Helga episode. I don't want to sound like a broken record because a lot of the reasons why I love Helga are also in the pink hat, but again, this was another great episode. I More so for the Helga's antics and the length she's going to get the book back, not so much for Arnold and Gerald completely missing the obvious as far as Helga's the yellow hair. Like seriously, come on, it's so obvious it's Helga. Which, I mean, the only thing I could say about it outside of Arnold has a pet pig for some reason in this game, episode in Sparta Flash game, is that Helga was a very dynamic character. I loved how expressive she was. Like, she she has surprise, anger, getting upset, and I don't know, like, a lot of the other characters, while I like them, they're very flat. Like, the bully kid's just kind of grumpy. Gerald's just kind of either smooth or complaining. And Arnold's just sort of the humble kid. Stoop kid I thought was fine. It was basically Stan Lot, you know. Some... Playing a game, ball gets stuck somewhere, kids don't want to go there due to rumors about the character, and Arnold helps the bully through his insecurities, but once again he gives the wrong advice, discouraging Arnold from going onto the stoop. Helga's makeover, again, I thought it was fine. Helga up so but I thought less than a little obvious, I've seen it done before. The old building, I felt, was a pretty... that That's like the one other episode I didn't get a chance to talk about that I actually really, really liked. It spotlight Arnold's grandma, who's a character I always love, and had this really good conflict that didn't have the best resolution. The episodes, basically, there's this old theater that's going to get knocked down soon and replaced with a nice movie theater, which in today's day and age would be an AMC Prime, which is the nicest theater, but also the most expensive, and it sucks having to reserve your seats in advance. I digress. But anyway, so Arnold makes two promises. He promises his grandma that he's going to help her protest against the theater being knocked down because that's where she had a date with Arnold's grandpa, but he also promises construction worker whose name I forget and whose relationship to the family is unclear. Please clarify in the comments below. He also promises him that he'll help him knock it down, so... He's kind of in this tough predicament where he's promised two things and he can't please one without letting down the other. And it's a great dilemma of Arnold trying to do the right thing but not necessarily knowing what the right thing to do is. And this is probably like one of those episodes where the dilemma really comes through and there's a really hard choice. There's a lot of... I love the contrast bet for, between the grandma and the construction worker and how you both understand where they're both coming from and why they feel the need to do what they need to do. And more importantly, how it comes from the same song, which is a fun knockoff callback to the Sinatra, James Dean era of music, which, yeah, my grandparents list haven't Sinatra in the car on all the time. And I even saw like a Sinatra tribute show when I was visiting them in their snowbird home so yeah as someone who's listened to sinatra i love how the show not only just you know it, it it's not so much a parody but it's more of an homage where they're sort of taking that style of music and recreating it and the song they created was very catchy my only problem with the episode is it kind of cops out at the end and and ultimately sides with Granny, which, yeah, I mean, I would be on Granny's side too, but, you know, for I feel like it would have been a more interesting lesson if they found a middle road or 
had gone for a more powerful lesson because at the end of it, like, Granny gets what she wants, the construction worker doesn't get what he wants, and I don't know, that just seemed like a little bit of a cop-out. I would have liked it if they had found something more clever. Sixth Grade Girls is another one of those flat episodes I really didn't care for. It wasn't bad, it just, it was quite charming, I just didn't care for it. Basically, a bunch of girls want to make their boyfriends jealous, so they invite Arnold and Eugene to the middle school dance. Arnold and Eugene get dressed up for the dance and read this book about happening dudes. <laughs> and at the end, they find out the girls were just using them, but they like them and give them a kiss on the cheek. And I didn't really care for this episode. It wasn't because Gerald was in it. It was because... In fact, I liked a lot of stuff. I thought it was cute how they were trying to be hip. And I like how, you know, we get to see teenagers in this world. But And the homages to West Side Story and Saturday Night Live were appreciated. But it's just Arnold and Gerald were very passive characters in this episode. And I... And, you know, they never make a decision. They never learn anything. It's an episode where things happen to them and around them, but they never really to choose to do anything or decide. Like, the girl, the boyfriends are the ones who come to a resolution about who they are. The girls are the ones who decide. They just dance, almost get beat up, and then get a kiss on the cheek. And I think the Flash game had a much better resolution where in that they're lying about saying they're older than they are, and then they come clean with who they are, and they get a kiss on the cheek. And it's like, you know, it's not great, but it's like at least that one there's something for them to Like they're trying to impress them, they're trying to make them seem cooler than they really are, and then at the end, they just be yourself. It's still a conventional message, but again, one, they're passive, one, they're active. The baseball, on the other hand, I really enjoyed. It might be one of my favorites of the season. I just saw it a couple hours ago. But it's one of those where I really like it. Again, it has like one of the, my favorite Arnold and Grandpa moments where Arnold... Let, let, let me backtrack first. Basically, the plot is, is that Arnold has this baseball player he really idolizes, but he, lately he's not been doing so well, and the baseball player is going to retire after one more game, so Arnold wants to be there at that final game. And he goes, watches him, catch and he scores a home run Arnold catches it and gives the player the ball back because he realizes the player's down his luck and it's a really good episode it has some of my favorite Arnold and Grandpa moments so far like I love the moment when Arnold wants to go to the baseball game and the grandpa tells Arnold to go to this jar with money which has all these other books beside it like the famous football head people which I'll get back to that in a second but while he's there, Grandpa just slips some money in to give Arnold enough, and that was very sweet. And I like the football head book because it kind of just shows a lot about Arnold's character, like the fact that he probably got picked on for being football head, like, in the intro. And that that book might have helped him cope, like, hey, you know, you may look like a football head, but there's a lot of great people who had football heads, and you'll go on. And just in general, there were a bunch of fun little ads and book titles and posters, but that's the one that really stood out. And also, as far as Grandpa moments go, there's also the final gesture, which I'll get to in a bit. Can relate to Arnold in this episode. Well, I'm, honestly, I'm not that big a sports fan, except for the Super Bowl, which I mainly watch for commercials and halftime. But I can relate to Arnold. We all have those people in life we look up to, whether it be an artist, a musician. For me, it's YouTube personalities. And we all want to see them be awesome. And when we see them do something that's not awesome, we kind of take it to heart since they inspired us and encouraged us to do things. Like Doug Walker inspired me to blind vlog about a TV show I've never seen. So I can relate to Arnold. And yeah, I mean, I can also relate to wanting to see him. I mean, on my one of my bucket list items is I want to go to a con someday and meet Doug Walker or just any famous person. Like a lot of famous voice directors. And they go to the baseball game, and there there's a lot of great storyboard layout and from the grand size of the baseball to Hang on, let me backtrack. So, as I mentioned before, Gerald's unlikable, the ticket. 
the music's really good in this episode. Like, normally Arnold has this really nice jazz music, which usually helps with the atmosphere. Here there's, like, this organ that sort of plays throughout it, and it always matches the thing. Like, even in the end credits, I think they have or the Hey Arnold theme, either the theme or the credits theme to organ music, and it's really nice. And again, it's fun, standard baseball stuff, although there is, I don't know, this episode did kind of remind me of a similar episode of Rock Goes Modern Life where they wound up in the cheap seats, but I digress. The moment that really stood out to me was the ending where Arnold chose to give his winning ball to the baseball player. It was like this powerful moment. Episode didn't need it. You could have ended it like a couple minutes ago, but it's just powerful from that shot of Arnold just sitting in his room tossing the baseball up which is great shot too him going into the place I would have loved the scene to just not have any dialogue at all but it was still a great scene regardless partially because of the music partially just because it's like again it's one of those moments where Arnold just does the right thing you know and them just tossing baseballs, just a nice little quiet moment. My only flaw of it is that it just basically is one giant homage to that one commercial I can't remember the name of, but other than that, it was pretty good. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Hey Arnold so far. Overall, pretty good. It's not, not every episode's perfect. There's some I like more than others, but overall, it's a show I really enjoy and one that I am looking forward to watching more of. So I have a few more episodes, so I'm going to work my way through disc two, and when I'm done with that, I'll talk about it. With the, I'm probably going to give Arnold Christmas its own vlog, just because that seems like a bigger episode, and I feel like that's one where I'm going to need a whole video to talk about it, but yeah. Um, also, I probably will watch Heat and Snow back-to-back, -back. those episodes, I don't know, those episodes just seem like two episodes that are meant to be watched back-to-back. -back. But yeah, I... I apologize if you wanted me to talk about each episode in depth, but I hope you enjoy the new format. If you like this over the Powerpuff Girls vlogs, please let me know, and I could do it that way and potentially get through the series a bit faster. But if not, I don't know. So, hey Arnold Season 1, what do you think of the episodes I've covered so far? Do you like, do you agree with me on some parts? Do you disagree with me on some parts? And... Is there any episode that you, I didn't really talk about much that you want to hear more? Because if so, just t ask me in the comments. Would you f can you talk a bit more about what you thought of this episode? I'll be more than happy to talk about it in depth through a sh short little comment. And, and yeah, I'm going to start working my way through disc two of Hey Arnold, and I'll be back with more about season one. Until then, take care.